Minecraft Live just wrapped up, so now we know what will be in Minecraft 1.21. I'm gonna cover everything in detail, but the quick summary is that Minecraft 1.21 will include a new block called the Crafter, which can automate crafting. New structures called Trial Chambers that have lots of interesting, unique blocks in them. Inside that structure, you'll find the Trial Spawner, which is a new variant of a a spawner that dynamically changes depending on how many people are around it. And the trial spawner itself will be ejecting loot. A new hostile mob called the Breeze, it jumps around and shoots projectiles of wind energy, which will explode on impact. A new type of light emitting block called the Copper Bulb, which has some unique redstone behavior and will emit different levels of light depending on what type of state it's in. And of course, we have the mob vote winner. Okay, let's get into Minecraft 1.21. Starting off, there is no official name yet. The name will be announced in 2024 next year. The biggest update and announcement has got to be, in my opinion, the crafter. The crafter is a new way to automate the crafting process. This means that you could have a farm that produces like wheat and sugar and uh, milk and have that farm pop out pumpkin pies or cake or whatever have you. It uses a completely different user interface than any of the other redstone blocks we've seen. And it has toggleable slots. So if you have an empty hand, you can turn on and off the UI to make sure that the crafter works correctly. I got a chance to have a Q&A with the developers and specifically wanted to mention that they made it very clear anything that is made in a crafting table can be made in the auto craft. Crafter, uh, or in the crafter. You can also chain together crafting. Being able to create a type of farm that pops out items at the end of it is going to be incredible and it is just there's just so much potential there. Next, so let's talk about the trial chamber. This is a brand new structure that you will discover in the game. Think of this as like a stronghold or an ancient city. You're gonna come across it at a certain level underground. Trial chambers are procedurally generated, so no two trial chambers should be exactly the same. We saw a ton of new blocks. So we saw lots of new copper blocks, new tough block sets, and we got to see the copper bulb being used. With just the name of it being called a trial chamber, I imagine this being much more focused on trials, on maybe puzzles or riddles. And we've kind of seen this in other structures before, so I'm really excited to see where the team goes with what these trial chambers are going to become. It leaves a lot to the imagination. There is one trial that we absolutely know about, and that is the trial spawner. Spawners have been in the game for a long time, especially in Minecraft Dungeons. That's where you'll find a spawner, but the trial spawner seems to be different. It's unique in that it will dynamically adjust to the amount of players that it detects around it. And it does seem to be completely proximity based. So the number of mobs, the type of mobs are all things that can be adjusted if you have like just one person coming up to the trial spawner or maybe a group of five, a group of 20, it doesn't seem like there is an upper limit cap on this yet. That was discussed in the Q&A. And then once you've completed the trial, there will be a loot that will be emitted from the spawner itself. After a cooldown, then the trial spawner can be uh, played with again, and you can reactivate the trial spawner. It was mentioned with the developers that if you break a trial spawner, it does not drop any type of exciting loot. And they also mentioned that the durability of the block is going to be like reinforced deep slate. And just like with reinforced deep slate, it takes forever to break and then there's like no reason to break it. So you don't wanna break these spawners. The game developers want you to keep them around and use them over and over again. There's a new hostile mob added to Minecraft and that is the breeze. The breeze has a look to it of like wind, and like right around it, like it's a tornado type of situation. It shoots projectiles of wind energy 
very similar to how a blaze shoots out fireballs. When the projectile collides with a player, it will immediately explode, causing blast damage. So far, I really like the the breeze. I like how it is reminiscent of the blaze. You got the blaze, you got the breeze, and its wind attack kind of reminds me also of how they've kind of taken some weird concepts and just thrown them into attacks like wither. You know, there's a wither effect and a wither attack. I like this wind effect and wind attack. I don't know. I, I kind of like the uh, how creative it is. Now let's talk a little bit about redstone because it was announced that there is a new light source called the copper bulb. Now this is made out of copper and it emits light, very similar to a redstone lamp, but because it's made out of copper, it can oxidize. And as the copper oxidizes, the light level of the copper bulb will diminish. You can still use wax or an ax to either seal the oxidation with the wax, or you can scrape off the oxidation with an ax. Let's talk about the mob vote. It was between the crab, the armadillo, and the penguin. The Minecraft community voted and the winner is the armadillo. Just as a reminder, the armadillo is found in the savanna biomes, has the ability to pop into a ball, will drop a scoot, which is different than a turtle scoot, and that can be crafted into wolf armor or dog armor. All in all, how do I feel about this update? I'm really a sucker for them going back to old biomes and really updating them, and I was I was one of the people who was really excited about them updating the birch biome or something like that, even just taking nor normal forest biomes and kind of adding something new to them. Uh, I'm excited about, so I was kind of sad that we didn't see any of the old biomes uh, get any type of reimagining. That's something that I would have loved to see, but I'm very optimistic. This looks so fun to play with, and I cannot wait for snapshots to come out because the crafter is, uh, that's gonna be a monster of a block. I'm so excited. Minecraft Live wrapped up with a lot of other news. We got news about Minecraft Dungeons, about, uh, you know, it being the 15th anniversary of Minecraft, a whole bunch of stuff, uh, but I'm not gonna cover any of that stuff here, but stay locked to the channel for future updates uh, for our, about Minecraft. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you in a future video. Bye.